see nothing but people. We're talking millions of people on the streets with their massive banner calling for significant political change. Of course, the crackdown came on June 4, 1989, after the start of the Union on June 3rd. I covered the crackdown. I was in the midst. I followed the People's Liberation Army as they entered the square from the west, and then I bicycled around the back of the square and got into the center. And I said to myself when I got in the middle of the square, oh, great, I've made it. And then I said, I said to myself, now, now, now what? I see you're married. Do you have kids? Yes. Did you, did you have kids when you would no. go to war? I was thinking. Would you? Um, no. Nope. <laughs> people do. People do go. Can you, can you describe a little bit of your thought process then? Um, I did it for eight years. And um, again, I talked earlier about the coupon idea. A friend of mine is a guy named John Randall, who's very, not very old, but um, far older than I am. And he's did the war correspondent job a lot. And he would always say to me, you, know, you only have so many coupons in your book. And um, I just thought after my first kid, um, I just didn't need to do it anymore. Um, I was married when 9-11 happened, and I was in uh, Pakistan and then Kandahar. And that was sort of the last that I wanted to do. And that was good. And also the tenor of the job, especially in Iraq, was different. I mean, in Iraq, you couldn't, now you can leave the Bureau. But then, I mean, for, for three years, you could barely leave the Bureau. 